Hello friends, hello YouTube, how are you guys doing? Rainbow here with another Nerf Mod video. So the whole Christmas market working thing is over and now there's new content. And first off, I'd like to share a build with you guys that I've actually had in the bank for quite a while. It's been done for about three weeks, I, four weeks, I just didn't get around to do the video. Um, but here it is, it's Repto LS43 and it's another beautiful hammer shot build. And for some reason, yeah, I love the hammer shot. Um, for those of you who followed me on Instagram, um, you've seen uh, this particular drum before. So that was at the modding uh, party uh, a couple of weeks back at Sir Scorp's place. Uh, shout out Scorp, awesome event um, where I started doing this. And now this is the f uh, completed build, so to speak. So before we go into any detail, let's have a look at it. Um, let's see how the light, can we turn this a little bit? There we go. All right, let's give you guys a look. And we're going over here, and there, over there, and that is the barrel. And that's about it. So that's the blaster. Um, it is a hammer shot mod, and for some reason, yeah, tons of hammer shots. There's still two more on the table right now. So yeah, <laughs> I just love this blaster. It's so cool, and you can do so many things with it. So what have we got here? It's a hammer shot mod. So it basically came to be for two reasons. One, I found the file, 3D printed file for this barrel on Thingiverse. I'm going to link it in the description. Um, my friend Kevin printed it out for me. And it's just a tiny, tiny little bit uh, of a print. And then you, um, it's meant for 15mm aluminum um, tube. So that's what I put on here. And yeah, you basically you just glue it in place. Um, you sort of stick it in here and just glue it in place and then you're done. And that's it, it's easy, it's very very easy, and it's such a cool looking drum. And I wanted to do a build with that, so when I finally got the part, um, and I made it, so yep, there we go. The second thing that most, some of you might have noticed already, this is a full metal kit, but a weird one. So, if you look at this closer, um, this is the blaster parts full metal uh, hammer, and the orange Motworks metal trigger. And there's a reason for that. Uh, my girlfriend wanted to do a hammer shot build, but because her hands are not that big, she can't comfortably prime this. And so she wanted the orange Motworks hammer, but she prefers the look of the blaster parts trigger. And a couple of weeks back on my Instagram, I posted a comparison of the two. And the reason I did this is because I ordered them to make that one. Currently sitting in here, not modded yet and not done, but currently sitting in here is the Orange Motworks hammer and the Blaster Parts trigger. And this will get sounded and worked on next week or in two weeks, I believe. And then this will be her hammer shot build. But because I had to order both sets, both kits, in order to make that happen, I had this spare. And I want to know if there is work. And they do. They work together perfectly, flawlessly. And so. This is the reason for this build. I wanted to try this barrel and I wanted to have some cool build to put these two parts in. Um, internally, we're rocking the orange Montwork spring with a 3D printed spacer. So this packs a punch. It is quite a nice prime. This is a very tight fit and the darts sort of go all the way into here, which I like. It's very cool and yeah, does deliver the hits. Very nice. I like it. Um, have an original nerf dart because you can't tell once they're in there. Bam! That even came back almost. Yes, so that's the internal modifications of this blaster. And externally, the paint job um, is done as I always do it. And for this one, I have a friend of mine, um, one of my Instagram followers, asked me if I could do a tutorial, uh, a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I paint the blasters. Not in terms of like what the actual paint job is, but in terms of the steps um, that are required to achieve this level of painting. So like all the preparation, um, all the different layers of paint and all that, and explain all that. So I thought with this build, I would just do that. So keep an eye out for the video. It's going to be the next one down in the playlist, I believe. Uh, it's the video, it's a step-by-step -step how I paint my Nerf Blasters tutorial kind of thing, where I mostly explain the things that I do and why I do them in that very order that I do them in. And yeah, so um, 
not going to go about the techniques a lot, just what I've done to this blaster. All the um, battle damage, if you want, the wear and tear, is actually dremeled in. So all these marks here that are then painted silver so you can actually spot them nicely, they are done with a dremel. So they are three dimensional as they could be. So I just took a dremel uh, before I painted it. Same on the barrel, by the way. So all the scratch marks on the barrel, just don't just do it with a dremel base. Yep, just very, very randomly. Um, another cool thing about, we're well, speaking of the barrel itself, it gets darker towards the front. I achieved this by just having an old metal brush and this was already assembled and everything and then I just kept brushing it that way like the front bit sort of like there's a metal brush and the um, brush bits about that long and so just brushing them over the front of that actually quite a long time so about 20 minutes whilst rotating this blaster bit by bit which interestingly make this a lot darker and yeah it doesn't rub off and so that's really cool so that's the effect that I'm using here the paint job other than that is same as always so primer automotive silver color and then it's a sponge painting technique over the top and the cool thing with this blaster the top green is very UV active so my trusted UV light and then you can see hang on let's turn on this one that should do um, so turn it this way and then you can see this is really really UV active and bright and it's just the top layer green so just these little bits there um, they will react to the light and it's done with the sponge paint so um, what's the sponge I was using um, the base was that kind of thing and for the green I was using like a bit of a rougher sponge hang on um, it was that one actually so it's a bit of a rougher sponge we can't focus on the roughness of the sponge there we go um, so I was using that. The downside is, because that's actually like the paint I was using, actually is spray paint. The downside in doing this is that you run through a lot of sponges quickly because you have to throw them out once you're done. Um, because, you know, it just dries in there. You just sit in there. Anyways, enough about the painting. That's how I did all this. So all, all the scratches done with a the Dremel, then painted them silver. Um, everything else, as I did, the, the handle is kind of similar. Pretty much actually the same, just in green as I did the fire and ice grip with the hammer shots. As I always do, starting going from like the very dark to the lighter part of the colour and then give it a good shade with some green ink in this case. So that's that. And then finish it off with clear coat layers. I think three of those. Yeah, three layers of clear coat up the top. Yeah, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, links for everything are in the description. So my email if you want me to build or paint you anything. So it's in the description as well as my website, my Instagram or Facebook. So please go check this out. And uh, remember to like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, all the jazz if you want more of this content and it'll, you know, it'll support me a lot. Um, Cause numbers, growing numbers, thanks so much. And with the holidays just around the corner, I wish you guys have an awesome Christmassy pre-Christmas time. I wish you have enjoyable Christmas holidays. Stay tuned on this channel for more updates. There's two videos scheduled around Christmas, which you don't want to miss. They're already done, but I cannot tell you what they are. So they're going to be great. And yeah, you know, stay safe, have fun. Uh, Nerf on, and I'll see you on Nerf Battlefield. Love and sunshine, my friends. Bye.